Hey y'all, let's head into Walmart to score $36 worth of items for just $1.25 after rebates and coupons. First up, look for these U by Kotex Light Days liners. These are the 40 count priced at $2.97 each. You want to pick up two boxes, which is going to total you $5.94. In the 626 Smart Source inserts, we also have a $4 off to manufacturer coupon that we're going to use on these. Once that manufacturer coupon is applied at checkout, you'll be left to pay $1.94 out of pocket. Finally, you're going to take your receipt and submit it to Ibotta where you're going to get back 50 cents per box, making your final net total for both just 94 cents or 47 cents each. Next, head over to the hair care aisle and look for the head and shoulder shampoo priced at $3.67. This is the 8.45 ounce. Go ahead and pick up two bottles and the cost of two bottles is going to run you $7.34. In the July P&G inserts, we have a $3 off to manufacturer coupon that is going to drop our total down at checkout to $4.34. We're then going to take our receipt and submit it to Ibotta, where Ibotta is going to give us back $3 for purchasing two, making our final net total for both $1.34 or just $0.67 cents each. I knew my store had a good amount of clearance makeup, so I headed over to the clearance aisle where I found this CoverGirl concealer on clearance for $1.90. Walmart does allow overage, which is essentially when the value of the coupon exceeds the price of the item. You can apply the overage amount to the remaining items in your cart at checkout. So this concealer is $1.90 and I have a $3 manufacturer coupon that came out in the Smart Source 710 inserts that I'm going to use, giving me a total of $1.10 in overage. Over near the checkout lanes, I found this Ibotta freebie. It is for the Baya Energy Drinks, priced at $2.38. They are not $5.98. I guess this Walmart just never changed out the tags, but they put a whole display here. I'm going to pick one up at $2.38. I'm going to pay that out of pocket, but then I'm going to take my receipt and submit it to Ibotta, where Ibotta is going to give me back $2.38, making this completely free after that rebate. On my way to look for the next Ibotta freebie, I actually found one in the clearance section. So not only is this going to be free, but it is going to be a small money maker. This skin tea collagen drink is normally $2.48, but this one was on clearance for $1.86, saving me $0.62. Cents. I'm going to pay that $1.86 out of pocket, but then I'm going to take my receipt and submit it to Ibotta, where Ibotta is going to give me back the full $2.48, making this free in a $0.62 cent money maker. Here's a quick look at all the flavor options, and you can find these in the regular aisle next to the other energy drinks. We have a great deal on this Febreze Unstoppable Fabric Spray. It is normally priced at $6.94. In the July P&G inserts, we have a $3 off one manufacturer coupon that we're going to use on this at checkout. That's going to drop our total for one of these down to $3.94. But then we're going to take our receipt and submit it to Ibotta, where Ibotta is going to give us back $3 for one of these. That makes our final net total for this just $0.94. Cents. We can pick up one pouch of this Gerber Plantastic Baby Food for super cheap. These are normally priced at $1.78. You're going to pay that $1.78 out of pocket, but then you're going to take your receipt and submit it to Shopkick, where Shopkick is going to give you back 350 kicks, which is equivalent to $1.40. You're also going to submit your receipt to coupons.com for purchasing one for an additional $0.35. Cents. After the $1.40 back on Shopkick, as well as the $0.35 cents back on coupons.com, your final net total for one of these is just $0.03. Cents. For our last deal, we are actually picking up a coupons.com freebie. This Tabanero hot sauce is $2.97, but when you purchase one and pay that $2.97 out of pocket and submit your receipt to coupons.com, you'll get the full $2.97 back, making this completely free. All right, y'all, let's recap this haul. I ended up putting everything on one receipt. At the top, we have the head and shoulder shampoo. Those were $3.67 each. And you can see that the $3 manufacturer coupon did apply. Next, we have the U by Kotex liners. Those were $2.97 each. And then we had that $4 off two manufacturer coupon that came off of our transaction. 
For our remaining two coupon deals, we had the Febreze Fabric Spray. It was $6.94, and that $3 manufacturer coupon applied. And then we had our CoverGirl Concealer that was $1.90, and that $3 manufacturer coupon applied, giving us that $1.10 in overage. For our items we did not use a coupon on, we had the Baya Energy Drink for $2.38. We had our Clearance Skin Tea for $1.86. We had the Tabanero hot sauce for $2.97, and finally our Gerber Plantastics food for $1.78. After all of our coupons were applied at checkout, our subtotal was $18.11 plus tax. I then took my receipt and submitted it to Ibotta where I got back a total of $12.11. I got back $2.48 for the skin tea, $2.38 for the Buy It Energy drink, $3 for the Febreze fabric spray. Then we also got back a dollar for the U by Kotex liners, $3 for the head and shoulder shampoo. And finally, I also had a 25 cent any receipt rebate. I then took my receipt and submitted it to Shopkick where I did get back the 350 kicks, which is equivalent to $1.40 for the Gerber Plantastic baby food. Last but not least, I submitted my receipt to coupons.com where we had the full rebate of $2.97 back for the Tabanero hot sauce and the $0.35 cents back for the Gerber Plantastic baby food. So I had no problem claiming the Tabanero offer. I got my money soon after I submitted my receipt. However, the Gerber Plantastic baby food did scan as a match in store, but when I went to upload my receipt, it was saying no match was found for any of the offers I had added. I made sure I had it added, but for some reason it was not scanning as a match. I don't know what was up with that. So I did have to submit a ticket in, which they should credit me very soon for that 35 cents. For a final look at the numbers, our retail value of everything was $35.77. After clearance pricing, it was $31.11, and we used $13 in coupons, making our out of pocket $18.11. We got back $12.11 on Ibotta, $1.40 on Shopkick, and $3.32 on coupons.com, making our final net total $1.28. That wraps up this Walmart haul video. If you are not currently yet signed up for Ibotta or Shopkick, I have links for both of those down in the description below. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up before you go, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye, y'all.